What it do, man? Final phone 15 back with another banger. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the top five best beginner tips for new 2K players. So, if you guys have not noticed that it is July, 2K20 is now free in July in 2020. So, there's going to be a lot of new players coming to the game, and I want to help them extremely on their journey to playing 2k for a little bit before 2k21 comes out so in today's video, we're talking about five beginner tips on how to be good good at the game and just straight like that like so first tip that i'm gonna give y'all i'm gonna just give y'all a jump shot and practice with it all right so this, this is the this is the best beginner best jump this is my best jump shot. i still use it to this day i'm gonna just give it to y'all jump shot 38 fire put that put that beat on start training with it if you're a beginner put it on start training with it Quick draw silver or gold works. It depends on profile reference. Put on jump shot 38 and take off your meter. Take off your meter and pass on jump shot 38. Don't pass with that goofy ass meter, all right? Don't go into a park game practicing. Go into my court and start practicing, all right? Practice, practice <clears throat> your jump shot with no meter. Because that's the best. That's the best way to go by far. No meter, jump shot 38, quip it, boom. You're good. We're gonna go to right and get into the next because that 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 tip all right there is already fire All right, let's go. All right, y'all. So the second tip is the buy boost All right, so if, if you're a beginner in 2k if you don't know what boosts are boosts help your player All right So whatever you're slacking in you need to buy the boost So if you're slacking in shooting, I mean I slacking if you're bad at shooting buy some shooting boost It will help you tremendously and then if you're slacking in defending uh, and getting steals and rebounding, get some rebounding steals boost. And if you're struggling on that playmaking, get playmaking boost. Those boosts help you a lot. The most effective boost that I've bought was by far jump shot boost. But I do have a limited boost now, so that's not a, that's not an issue for me buying boost anymore. But buying boost is a key. Make sure you buy the um, ten pack because if you buy them separately, like one 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 one, it'll cost more VC. And if you don't know how to get VC, my VC video will be out already. Or not wait I think it's already gonna be out I'm not sure but I actually re-recording this tip because some that my editing software just wants to go haywire and just just delete the second tip so I'm doing a second tip again so I don't know if I explained it as good as I did the first time because I think I did the first time better but yeah that's the second tip um your boy is going to the third tip. all right so the third tip is your build all right so the third tip is that if you made your build um, make sure your build is good, right? Look up some good builds on YouTube. You can look up my, my playmaker build is in the description. We'll know how to make the build that I'm using in this gameplay right now. That is a great build for starters because it has a lot of playmaking, shoot, you can still shoot with it, stuff like that. All right, so look up top, top, just look up best builds on YouTube. Check out my video on best builds, and those will help you create the best builds for you on your place so if you like slashing look up best slash if you like shooting look best shooting like playmaking best playmaking which i got that in the description which is me showing y'all how to make the best pure playmaker build and if you want to if you lag defense and you want a defensive build look up best defensive build all right so that's what i that is the third tip it's a little slacking um but we're gonna go to get into the fourth tip all right, y'all. So as y'all can see here, I want y'all to put on these triple moves. Your bias, your moves, bottom, whatever. All right. So instead of size up package, Allen Iverson put on Pro Two. That is by far the easiest thing. So don't forget about the Allen Iverson and copy everything else. These are the most easiest dribble moves you to dribble with. So dribble style quick, size up package, Pro Two, not Allen Iverson, because those are for hard, um, more skilled players. Pro Two, moving cross so put on moving cross up Pro Two. Behind the back, Pro 3, moving spin, basic one, Pro 3, hesitation, and triple set, normal 5. Those are my easiest, these are the easier dribble moves by far to learn as a beginner. So I want you to put those on and get right. So we're going to go ahead and get into the fifth tip. The last tip, the best tip. Let's go. All right, y'all. So if you're new to 2K20, you're going to have to have good connection. And that is the fifth tip. Go get a LAN cable, get better Wi-Fi. You gotta upgrade, do some, something, okay? So I'm gonna give y'all this tip that is completely free. But if you if you do want better connection, you have to pay that. But this is a free tip. All right. So in a PlayStation, it has 2.4 and 5 
gigahertz. Five gigahertz is for when if five gigahertz is from you're not close to the internet, but you're not far away from the internet. 2.4 gigahertz is when you're far away from the internet. So if you are basically if you PlayStation can go five the slim and the pro can only go five gigahertz, not the original PlayStation can go five gigahertz. So if you have the original position, this tip does not apply to you at all. But I got a bonus tip at the end. So, like I'm saying, put your thing on 5 gigahertz, all right? Put it on 5 gigahertz, all right? So that's what I want y'all to do. But if you're far away from your connection, if your signal strength is 100, keep it 5 gigahertz. And if it's not, put it on 2.4 gigahertz. So if your shit is like 90s, if it's 90 or above 5 gigahertz, if it's below 90, 2.4 gigahertz. That's the best shooting to that can got you. 2K is all about timing, so you need that good connection. So that's the best connection tip that I have for you, and that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more great 2K content. Let's get right, man. Let's get right.